Hello! In this video, I'll be telling you how to use the image target option on the Vuforia engine to create an augmented reality app. In our previous video, we talked about how to configure the Vuforia engine with Unity. If you did not watch our previous video, you can go to the link in the description below and watch that video. Here we have created an empty project in Unity. I have already imported the Vuforia SDK to it. You should select the Vuforia Engine option from the drop down list at the plus mark in the hierarchy tab and create the image target game object. You should go to the inspector panel and change the type to from database. I will also delete the main camera in this way. I will then replace it with the AR camera game object, which is available under the Vuforia engine drop down list. It will be used as our main camera. I will then go to their website, which is developer.vuforia.com. I have already created an account and logged into it. Then go to the develop tab here. I will now create a license in the develop tab. We require a license in order to work on our projects. So I will select the Get Basic option from these ones. I will provide the name Test Project as the license name here. We have to click the checkbox here and click Confirm to create a license key for our project. I will copy the license key by clicking on it. We should now open Unity and click Open Vuforia Engine Configuration on the Inspector panel of the AR camera. You can then paste the license key under the App License Key option. Next, we should go to the Target Manager tab. We should click on Add Database on this tab. You should select the database type as device and then name your database. I will name this database image target and then click create. You can see that the database has been created here. You can click on it to enter it. You can then add image targets here. You should click add target and then select image as the type. You can click on browse to select the image target that you want. I am uploading an image that I downloaded from the internet. I'm entering the width as one and leaving the default name as it is. I will then click add, which helps upload the image. You should then click on the image and view its properties. It has received a rating for how augmentable it is here. When we click show features below the image, we can see that the image becomes black and white with yellow crosses on it. These are the features that will be identified by the camera. It receives the augmentable rating according to the quality of the image we have uploaded and the features of the image that can be scanned. The rating should be at least three stars to increase the accuracy of the app we are creating. I will then return to the image target database and download it to work on my project. I will select Unity Editor under the Select a Development Platform Options and click Download. After the download is completed, you will be able to import the database into Unity. After it has been imported into Unity, we should click Image Target. 
you will be able to click on the image target option under the database drop down list. You will then be able to see the image that I selected as the image target game object. You will be able to see the image target in the scene window. We have to then place the game objects that we want to view in augmented reality within the app. We have to create them as child objects under the image target option. I have added this low poly game object of a house with a few trees as a child object here. I have rescaled it properly on top of the image target. We can now play and test it. One of the best features of the Vuforia engine is that we can use the webcam of our computer to scan the image. We can go to the AR camera option and click on Open Vuforia engine configuration. We can then see that the webcam has been selected as the play mode type here. After the webcam opens, we can use it to focus on the image target and see if our app is working properly. We can also select one of the webcams that works with our computer from the drop down list next to camera device. I will click play now and show you what happens. After we click play, when we focus the camera on the image that I printed, it recognizes the image and shows us the environment that we added on top of the image in augmented reality. We can also convert this into an Android build. You should go to Files and select Build Settings. You can now see the Build Settings window here. You will have to switch the platform to Android. You will then have to go to Player Settings and make a few changes. Under Configuration, you will have to make sure that the scripting backend is IL2CPP. Under the Target Architectures option, you should tick ARM64. The minimum API level should be Android 8.0. There's no issue with the Target API level being set to the Automatic option. I will create the Android build now. This is our final output. You should install the APK that you build onto your Android phone. After opening it, the main camera of your Android phone will open. When you focus the camera on the image target that you printed, you will be able to see the game objects that you placed on top of the image target in augmented reality like this. When you move the camera around this area, you will be able to view the game objects generated clearly on top of the image target in augmented reality. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers. So please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.